Hey guys, Andy here. Now, uh, technically, this is not Android related, as you might see from it saying there, Firefox OS Developer Preview. Um, there's going to be a new operating system on the scene, made by the people uh, that made Firefox Browser. And, and my brother has bought himself one of them, so, as usual, I've nicked it, and I'm going to do a quick unboxing. It's called the Keon. Um, I've got to be honest, I know very little about this, but I figured it'd be quite interesting to have a look. Um, it's a very cheap device at 91 euros. I mean, that works out, what, I don't know, less, less than 80 quid, I suppose. Uh, it's not massively highly specced. It's got a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon Qualcomm processor. Uh, it's got all the usual radios. It's got a 3.5 inch screen, a 3 megapixel camera. 4 gig for ROM and half a gig for RAM. So, by today's specs, it's pretty, pretty lowly spec. But then, for like 80 quid, what do you expect? And it is the true developer device or developer preview. Really, it's only to let developers get the hold, get their hands on the uh, the operating system, and start writing apps. So, it's not all that securely. I've not really done much to to open that. Never mind. Let's see. Oh, well, it looks nice. If nothing else, well, it's presented nicely, should we say? The nice orange, uh, sort of Firefox orange, I guess. But let's just check what's in the lid here. Your personal guarantee. I think the rest is empty. Seems. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Not the strongest of glue. So the drive. Anyway, all right. So. Guarantee is in the is in the lid. Let's uh, move the actual device into view. But first of all, let's just double check what's in. Oh, that's quite nicely packaged. Ah, that's going to need a converter of some kind. Well, it's only USB. I'm sure there's I'm sure there's many others that'll do the job. That's a regular USB cable. Yep. Micro USB charger. The battery, which is 1580 milliamp hours. It's reasonable. Um, and then the earphones, which they feel quite plasticky and light, and I wouldn't be expecting much for them. But again, you know, 80 pound. What are you expecting? So, let's, uh, let's take a look at the actual phone. It's quite nicely presented. So it is quite plasticky, it's very light, obviously the battery's not in. We've got the USB port on the one side, headphone jack at the top, volume and I presume power on, on the side there. And it looks like we have the speaker at the back. So, let's just turn this light this way a little bit. Um, how do we get in is the question. Do we slide? Do we pull? Oh, well, I don't know that it's the way I'm supposed to, but it looks like I'm going in. I don't think it's supposed to slide. It feels pretty sturdy. Okay, well, come off easy enough. Um, what have we got going on here? So I'm guessing this is a, this. I'm not entirely sure. Is that two separate, two separate slots, slots there? I'm not. Geeks phone. Just in case you didn't realise. So. Not entirely clear what's what there, if we're honest. Because what is? I mean, that that's got to be that's got to be micro SD, hasn't it? Did I miss? There's not even an actual manual, is there? So we are left to just figure these things out. Maybe it's online, probably somewhere. Um, I didn't see it. Anyway, I'm not using either of those right now, so I'm just going to try pushing that back on. Let's see if. Uh, 
So it feels, it feels, it feels pretty good generally for an 80 pound phone. That's come on quite simple. Let's remove Geek's phone. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, in fact, if you wanted to check these out, shop.geeksphone.com. Um, the full URL is slash en slash phone slash one dash k e o n dot html. So hola. Um, English, US, I guess. Wi-Fi, right, give us a moment, I'll sign into Wi-Fi. Okay, so we are connected. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not 1980. So the screen seems relatively responsive. Um, wait, I've got to think, what day is 28th? I probably should have gone the other way, never mind. That's, yeah, I mean, as touch screens go, oh, not too bad. Pag, what? We're in Europe, yeah. Um, seems a little long-winded, but we get in there, so time right now, and I shouldn't, oh, I can't go, though. I've got to go. Do we go to, no, we don't, right. Um, so pretty responsive, I think. Oh, that's a slidey one still. Sorry. No, let's not bother about importing Facebook. Welcome to Firefox OS, the free and open source operating system from Mozilla. Our mission is to provide. Oh, I'm reading this to you. You, can, you got eyes. You can read it yourself. Yes, I want to help Firefox OS, please. Oh. Um, not at the minute, thank you. Start your phone tour. Let's have a look at the tour then. Swipe from right to left to browse your apps. Swipe from left to right to discover new apps. Tap and hold on an icon to delete or move it. Sorry, I'm reading this and taking my time, but obviously I've never used this operating system before. So, uh, swipe down to access recent notifications. Fairly normal. Okay. Tap, tap and hold the home button to browse and close recent apps. That's it. Let's go. Um, emergency calls only. Can I? Can I really actually call? Hello. Oh, I'm on the lock screen at the minute. Unlock, please. Oh, it did as well. Look. Two updates available. System update. Let's do that later. Here, maps. Oh, mind you, that sounds fun. But still, all the same. So, these were my apps, right, weren't they? Oh, I've got a few of them. And discover new apps was this way, right? Ooh. Find the things you love with the coolest apps. Uh, Yeah, that's fine, go for it. So, Googly Plus. That looks suspiciously like a browser. Let's log in now and see what happens. It tells me loading, what's this down the corner here? Yeah, surely, surely this is just a browser. Oh my god, it's the desktop browser at that. Hello? That is the full desktop browser on a three and a half inch screen. Okay, interesting. Whoa, whoa. So I think that's a bit. Have I got back? What does that do? Okay, so I've got. Have I got? Oh, have I got just one button at this point? Let's try a weather app. See if we get anything other than just a browser. I mean, I don't know, maybe this is how it's supposed to be. And it just loads apps that are HTML5 or, or whatever that might be. Um, okay. So, 
kind of odd at this point, it would appear. But I guess this is very, very early days. As I've said, this is only a developer edition, so... Um, I mean, all in all, it seems quite slick. It seems odd I've got no buttons there. Um, equivalent of a marketplace, I suppose. Is that what I was just looking at, I guess? No, yeah, no, no, okay. But is it not just going to load? Is that what I was... I thought I was discovering apps when I slid that way. Was I discovering websites? I'm a bit confused. Whenever you're ready. Do do. Game of I Spy, perhaps? I spy with my little eye something beginning with B. That's right, it was box. There it is, look. <laughs> and we're still loading. Maybe. Oh. I'm not quite sure what I did there, so that's stopping it. Can anything load? Oh, okay, we are in business. Chess, please. Did it do anything? Here we go again. Um, okay, well, like I say, very early days. It is only intended for developers. It's not at this point intended to be someone's daily daily driver, as they say. And I mean, the screen's pretty responsive, generally. If I'm reviewing the device itself, yeah, it feels like I've gone back two years and I'm using a HTC Hero or something. But, um, like I say, it was just, it is, this is developer edition. We shouldn't, oh wow, can you see that? I was going on my camera. We shouldn't get too, uh, too hung up on, on how it operates, how it is, or especially on the hardware, it is just for developers so they can start developing apps and see how they work. So, there you go. My name's Andy. This is Firefox OS on the Keyone. Catch you all again soon.